you something about yourselves. Uh, I'm Betty Musel from Fremont, Michigan. And um, basically, I am a mother of four children and continue to work and look forward to retiring sometime soon. Good. I'm Ron Musel, and I am retired uh, from the School of Ed uh, Systems. I am a retired school superintendent. Uh, I've had multiple hats over the years, from teacher to principal to superintendent. What can you tell us about Samuel Omogo Foundation? Um, I, it's a foundation that allows us to contribute um, for the people of Nigeria so that they can enjoy some of the basic things that we take for granted here in this country, um, water especially, and hopefully um, by us contributing to the foundation, the people in Nigeria can live happy and healthy lives um, that we take for granted. So, just to add on, the foundation, as I understand it, is named after a brother of Father Peter, who came to this country to get educated in terms of leadership, uh, but also, I think, was to learn a little bit about the culture of the people here in the United States and remind us about how well, how good we have it here compared to maybe some other places in the world, specifically Nigeria. Okay, I know you have uh, drilled two water wells in Nigeria. And uh, when Father Peter came back to U.S., uh, he brought you the pictures and the videos and you saw people dancing and celebrating those wells. What, what did you make out of it? What, how did you feel when you, when you saw these uh, uh, pictures and videos? Well, basically it uh, showed me that the people were appreciative and that the wells were actually being drilled, which is good, um, and that hopefully it was going to bring good things to their life. Personally for me, uh, a great deal of satisfaction. Uh, one of the things I think the Lord put me here on this earth was to leave it a better place uh, than when I came. And uh, started out in a family where we really were very poor ourselves and I'm in a position now where I can give back to maybe some people who also need to have some support and this foundation and the drilling of the wells just has meant uh, a tremendous amount to me personally because I know based on the information that I see in the videos and pictures I know that the contributions that Betty and I make are going directly to benefit those people. I want to thank you so much for making a great impact in their lives many people that are using those wells now they now walk for maybe five miles or three miles instead of walking for 10 miles you have really reduced the number of miles these people walk they now use the time to do something that is useful to them and ultimately this has improved their health condition so i want to thank you thank you for leaving a wonderful legacy in their lives and each time they come to fetch water in these water wells they always see your names and they always pray for you 
I want to thank you. I pray that the good Lord will bless you here on earth and in heaven. Amen. What is your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is uh, Reverend Father Peter Omogo. I am from Nigeria. Father Peter, what can you tell the people watching you about Samuel Omogo Foundation? You know, in the rural parts of Nigeria, it is so difficult uh, for kids uh, to fetch water in the morning and they probably go to school. We don't really know how we are blessed here in the U.S. Kids wake up in the morning, they go to the kitchen and turn on the faucet, and then they go to the bathroom and then turn on the shower and then uh, take their bath and um, go to school. But in Nigeria, especially in the rural areas, kids wake up as early as 4 a.m. They walk for miles, some people walk for 10 miles, some people walk for five miles, three miles, looking for water and the water is not even clean. In Nigeria, we have two major seasons. We have dry season and rainy season. We have seven months of rainy season and we have five months of dry season. When it is dry, it is really dry. And kids that wake up as early as 4 a.m., they go about looking for water in the dry season. They fetch brown water. And some of them are affected with cholera, diarrhea, typhoid. Some of them have lost their lives. And so when I shared some of these experiences with uh, some of my friends, they were really touched. And then uh, in 2011, uh, they wanted to give me a birthday gift, a surprising birthday gift. And that gift was a water well. Unfortunately, my brother passed away two weeks before my birthday. He passed away on October 16th, and my birthday was to be on November 1. Marge Wilson called me and said, you know, we wanted to surprise you with a birthday gift of water well. Now, what name would you like to give to this water well? And I said, I have no idea. And Marge said, how about Samuel's well? I said, wonderful idea. And they gave me the well, and I went and I drilled the water well in Nigeria, in my parish, so that everyone could benefit from it, from the birthday gift they gave to me. And over 4,000 people celebrated this one well. I came back to the U.S. and I shared them, I shared with them the pictures and the video uh, of this one well, and they were really, really touched. At that point, when Marge saw one person taking a glass of water and making the sign of the cross, Marge said, all the days of her life, she has never thanked God for a glass of water. Marge came to White Cloud uh, to watch the video with uh, Kerry James. As they were driving back to Grand Rapids, both of them said, we will start a foundation. And that name, Samuel, because that was my brother passed away. So that was how Samuel Omogo Foundation came to be. Well, how has this foundation affected your people in Nigeria? Well, they started this foundation and March um, kept a jar in her bakery and people dropping tips, change, and all those things. Uh, from the money that uh, people uh, donated there and from the money that uh, friends of Marge, my friends and then uh, other friends of Marge and then uh, uh, friends of the bakery, uh, through that money they started drilling water well and uh, from there it has really improved my people's condition. People that walk 10 miles before they now walk like 5 miles or six miles or three miles and then they utilize the time for something that is beneficial 
and kids now instead of waking up as early as 4 a.m they sleep more and they do their assignments but ultimately this has improved their health condition people now drink clean water and it has really uh, helped to minimize people going to hospital and sometimes people don't even have the money to go to the hospital and when they are affected they stay home and before you know it people die so this has really impacted my people for all the water wells that they have drilled and I'm happy for that. What do you say to the founders and friends of the Samuel Omogo Foundation? All I can say is uh, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Uh, starting this foundation has been a great relief to my people. It has improved their life condition, it has improved their health condition. So I want to thank Marge and Kerry James and then all the friends, there are so many, all the friends of Samuel Omogo Foundation for your time, for your resources, for your skills that you have really applied to take Samuel Omogo Foundation to a higher level. I want to thank all of you. You have really touched the hearts of my people. Like uh, John Boyan, who said that you have not truly lived until you have done something for someone that can never repay you. You are doing all these things for my people, they cannot repay you. All they do for you is to pray for you. And they pray for you each time they come to fetch water from these wells. So I want to thank you, and I pray that the good Lord will bless you abundantly here in this world and in the next world to come. Amen. May the Almighty God bless all of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>